Hi, I'm Eric Stover, Product Line Manager here at Autodesk. And with me today is Guillermo Melantoni, one of our top 3D geeks on the AutoCAD team. So welcome, Thank you. Guillermo. Uh, and so I know you're a practicing architect and a Revit power user. Um, I'm really curious, you know, as, as kind of the, one of the visionaries behind all the 3D improvements in this release of AutoCAD, um, for an architecture office, can you tell me, you know, what are some of the, uh, the use cases that uh, you, you've solved? Right. So in, in architecture office, uh, there's a big chunk of the work, which is design, mm -hmm. and design from white space, when you just have a blank canvas. I was going to say, what's the white space? Tell me about the okay, white space. Okay, this is the blank canvas. Uh, this is a blank canvas. You don't have anything yet. You need the utmost flexibility. You just want to do whatever you need. So when you're generating so, ideas and right. just you know, early brainstorming exercises. Absolutely, yeah. and communicating that ideas. So in that case, you need flexibility. Mm -hmm. You need no constraints. You just need to manipulate an object the way you want. And that's why we kept improving AutoCAD, not only with our known capabilities for 3D, for working with the solid, mm -hmm. but also manipulating that solid into whatever shape you want, converting to a mesh, which allow us, you know, those very smooth buildings that you've been seeing around for the last years, maybe? Sure. Uh, we can do that. We can do that now to get that. So with AutoCAD 2010, you can tell me I can uh, pretty AutoCAD much sculpt anything I want. Oh now. yeah, oh yeah. You just imagine it, you do it. So AutoCAD 2010 just lets you do that. So how easy is it? Very easy. We, we just made a great job at making it absolutely easy to, to work with. Because uh, any user needs that flexibility. You don't need to worry about which tool we'll use. It's just about how you deal with that object. Mm -hmm. And you concentrate and focus on design and not in which, okay, which tool was that for this? No, it's just to concentrate on manipulating the object there in Canvas, in the screen. Fascinating. And so the, yeah. so uh, other things I've heard of is that you can now do printing, 3D printing out of this release. What's that all about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Again, so it's not just about manipulating the screen. You can also print it and have the model in 3D in any kind of material that you want. So how is this possible? Okay, you may not have a 3D printer in the house. Well, they're like $100,000, so probably, uh, probably won't have well, access to you, one. So you may not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but you know what? We have web service for that. We have two great partners. Mm -hmm. And you can just send by just working one click in AutoCAD, you can send the model into any of those two partners, select the material, and then you'll get back the model by mail in a couple of days. So I can actually print out my building that I've oh, yeah. created inside of AutoCAD and get a physical model I can show to the client? Building, a part of a building, many options of building, whatever you need that to show to your peers or, or to, to the user, to the customer. Mm -hmm. it's, and it's great because people can touch it. It's, it's not only about making a great render that you may want to do again too, but it's just about touching. It's a tangible part of, of the whole thing, sure. which is so, so, so important. Sure. So, you know, in my office, let's say, you know, I've got plenty of seats of Revit. How does AutoCAD fit into the workflow? It does. It does. And it does a great job there, too. So, uh, in the building for instance, modeling process, you have a conceptual design phase in which you can create that object, for, again, from white space, from this canvas in which there's nothing yet. Mm -hmm. And the good news is that you can do that in, in the tool in which you feel more comfortable. Sure. So that can be Revit, it has great tools for that, but it can also be AutoCAD. Mm -hmm. So in AutoCAD, you can go back to this very easy, flexible uh, system for controlling and sculpting the, the object. It doesn't have to be smooth, but you can really sculpt and control perfectly that object. You can take that into Revit, into the massing environment, and uh, just convert faces into walls, curtain walls, roofs, whatever you need, and then you can continue and develop all the design in Revit. And at some point, you know that you, you have schedules, you have all, all the sheets, all the views in Revit. You, you may need to take that into AutoCAD again for, for finishing documentation and for more communication with the, with, 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 the whole, with the whole process. And that's where the whole thing goes back into AutoCAD. Well, great. So it sounds like you got the workflow between Revit and AutoCAD pretty well covered with this release. Absolutely. Fantastic. So we encourage all of our customers to take a look at all the great features that were included. Uh, surface modeling, mesh modeling, 3D printing inside of AutoCAD 2010, as well as the great interoperability we have now with Revit. So fantastic. Nice work, Guillermo. Thank you. And thank you.